The most common symptoms that people think of when they uh, talk about blockage in the heart is chest pain, and that is the majority of the cases. Uh, having said that, there are times where people are presented with what we call not typical symptoms. Diabetic, for instance, and females tend to uh, present in, uh, in non-typical symptoms uh, more often. Uh, that could be just upset stomach, uh, just overall not feeling well, uh, dizziness, uh, sometimes the pain is in the back and the jaw and the shoulders. Um, so uh, it's not just the chest pain that uh, uh, could be a symptoms of uh, blockages in the arteries. There's two ways to uh, diagnose uh, the blockages. Uh, there's what we call non-invasive tests, uh, such as stress tests, uh, EKGs, and so forth. Those are uh, great uh, initial screening tests. Uh, they're very non-invasive uh, and safe. Uh, the problem, um, or the limitation, I should say, is the sensitivity of uh, those tests. Uh, it's about 85%, meaning there's 10, 15% uh, chance occasionally we can miss something uh, on, on those tests. The ultimate diagnosis for uh, blockages is with the heart catheterization, uh, but this is a little bit more invasive test, so we reserve that uh, to um, situation where the suspicion is really high or if somebody had an abnormal stress test uh, and that test basically uh, going inside uh, the body with this small catheter and injecting contrast. Uh, this is a hundred percent test. There's either blockages or not. It doesn't have any um, false negative or false positive to it. Any blockages it is concerning. Uh, what it, it's different is how you treat it. Mild blockages uh, does not require intervention, meaning balloon or stent or surgery. The focus more is on uh, controlling the risk factors such as high blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, uh, smoking, and so forth. Um, and in more advanced phase when the blockage is severe, meaning more than 80% uh, or so, uh, then this is when it's time to intervene on the blockage, uh, whether uh, is it with stents or, or surgery or uh, uh, whatever uh, it's appropriate for the particular blockage becomes a technical issue.